We live in a very complex world. There's so much happening around us and we don't understand necessarily why it's happening. Price of gas is increasing. Uh, some company announced that it will fire 5,000 employees. Why? It's not clear. We live in this world that we believe that it's very complex and those in charge, the elite, are totally disconnected from common life. Um, and most often we look for some shortcuts instead of trying to understand our world and try to work to improve it. And we look for a savior, a champion, or a liberator. Sometimes we vote for them. And like in the US, in the UK, France, or even Canada. And then when they're elected, they come to us and they promise all those beautiful simple answer and they come to us and said well did not knew that it was so complicated yeah and church people are not better no 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 um well through north america memberships are in the decline and and the, we need younger people so we say well let's hire a young minister to attract younger people we don't want to do the hard work to reach out. No, the minister will magically solve everything. We're beginning Lent today as I'm recording this. And a lot of people will ask, you know, what are you giving up? As if uh, giving up uh, coffee, chocolate, social media would change something in the great cosmic order of things as if having a little ashes on our forehead will dramatically change everything in our lives so often we struggle to see the big picture the impact that our words or our decisions or the absence of our words and decision have on other people we may tell a racist joke we can um, practice Question, have uh, questionable business practices and decision. We can tell little lies to our loved one. And we believe we're okay. It's, it's not that bad. And we sometimes even convince ourselves that it's for the greater good somehow. Take Jesus, for example. In the desert, in this week's uh, lectionary reading, in Gospel according to Matthew. Is brought there by the Spirit and after 40 days and 40 nights. And he's tempted. Three temptations. And sometimes we believe, and I would say often we believe, that there are awful temptation. And Jesus said, no, 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 I don't want to do this. Stay away. But let's look at those temptations. The first one, well, an invitation to turn rocks into loaves of bread. Well, Jesus, later in his ministry, were told multiple bread to feed a large crowd. And today in our churches, uh, we will say there's nothing wrong to try to feed the poor. You know, another temptation is to be bold and trust God. You know, jump, jump, and you will not be hurt. Well, Jesus took some bold risks during his ministry, confronted a lot of people, made a lot of enemies, and somehow trusted God through the cross. Another temptation? Well, all those kingdoms could be yours. And today, well, Jesus is known across the world that's the great commission we have in Matthew. Go throughout the world, says Jesus, and baptize them. And these days, many are wondering why politicians are not reading their Bible a little more. Maybe we will have a better world if the kingdoms and country of this world would be run, according to Jesus. So we say... 
Why should, why should we wait? Why should Jesus wait? What's wrong in all of this? Well, maybe the real test here is the shortcuts that we take when we believe that the end, the means justify the ends, that we don't want to wait. The time of Lent is a call to discipleship. And discipleship cannot be done uh, just quick by by with quick fixes. No, discipleship is hard. It's difficult. It means we have to be involved in our world. It means that we have to get our hands dirty. It means that it's difficult. It's tough. And there's no way around it. If we really want to follow Jesus, if we really want to build this better world that God wants us to build, it requires hard work. It requires to see the bigger picture. It requires us to do more. And that's our invitation for Lent. Yes, there's nothing wrong to give up smoking, for example, for land, very good for your health. But it has to be more. Discipleship has to be more. It has to be our lifestyle, our commitment to walk this path for 40 days and even further if it, we have to do it. And that's what land is all about. On this first Sunday in Lent, I hope you will answer this call to discipleship that we all receive. That's all for today. I am Stéphane Vermet. I'm the lectionary man. And until the next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.